Hello, I'm Greg Corking, welcome to the Northern League show. I'm Joe Bowers Larkin. Alex. And tonight's show we've got Mask United versus West Salon and Celtic in the North Riding Cup tie. Uh, commentary comes from Dan Bennett and Chris Donald. Hello and welcome to Mask This Cup tie. It's Mask United against West Allotment Celtic. I'm joined by Rob Munro. Hello, Rob. Good evening, Chris. Thanks for having me. There's a good game in prospect here in Mask. It's a long ball forward by the West Lomond keeper. It's flicked on by the captain in midfield towards David Dummond. And he's brought down there by Adam Wheatley. And it's a bit of a soft foul there, Rob. Yeah, there was, there was no need to bring him down. He's going to have a go from here. He's had a go from range and it's not too far away, but it's not quite on target either. Yeah, the keeper looked to have had that covered. Uh, it's a good technique, but obviously he didn't get the keeper to work in there, which he needs to do from that sort of range uh, if West Allotment are going to score today. It's a free kick for West Allotment here. Out left, and it's come inside into the feet of Henderson. It's shot and it's blocked. The ball's going to be flicked into the back post, and there's a player attacking it. There's a chance there for West Allotment. And the locals didn't look too happy there. There's a break in midfield with Stewart for Musk. He's taken down though, about 35, 40 yards from goal. Very cynical. It wouldn't surprise me if we'd seen a card. And a free kick here to be taken by Craig Gott. And he stuck it, but it's easily held by the keeper in the end. Yeah, good technique once again from these free kicks, but he's, he's just hit it straight down the keeper's throat there. And the West Lomond keeper. He's looking to get things underway quickly as West Lomond are on top of the minute and his long ball falls towards Dermond. He's done this, taking that down fantastically well there. And he's going to go out left to Hudson. Hudson looks to run at his fullback and gets around him once. Can he get a cross in? He said no, he pulls it back and wins a throw in for his side. The fact that the referee is actually giving it the other way. Yeah, poor, poor referee in there once again. Um, I think he's got a point there and he looks like he's getting a yellow card for his troubles. Poor lad, he hasn't done anything wrong. He's, he's won the ball fairly there, but he's getting a booking. There's a long ball forward looking for Hudson down the channel again, and that seems to be the tactic of a day four West Allotment. He's squaring up his man, he's got past him, pulls the ball back, he's just missed the first man, but it's fallen to Tony Lancaster, he can take a shot. Fantastic save to tip it wide, actually. Yeah, brilliant from Hudson once again. He's got the beating of his fullback on the left wing there. Now West Allotment with the resulting corner. It's whipped in towards the back post. And Reed's there. He's got to do better there, surely. Poor marking from Mask there. He's been given the freedom of Mask in there. Shouldn't be giving anyone space in the six-yard box, especially a centre-half with such aerial prowess such as him. It's a fantastic free header there, and he should have done a lot. And Mask will be looking for a better 45 after West Lockman really did dominate those first 45 minutes as the ball played back to his goalkeeper by a defender. And Jennings is there. Has he caught the keeper there? The keeper's gone down like he's been shot, but I don't quite think there was much in that. He went down in instalments there, Chris. Uh, he's milking it. looks like a serious injury. Um, you know, there could be a delay here. Let's just hope he's OK. And Jennings had every right to go for this ball. It was a poor back pass in the end, and he's just chasing that lost cause. He went for the ball. He didn't make any attempt to go for the, go for the man, but he's making the most of that. That's gamesmanship. Look at him. Absolutely nothing wrong with him. Should be booked for that. I want to see that out of the game. Now Jennings gets it down the left-hand side as Mask looks to get a fold in the game. There's a strike by McDonald. Not far away there. No, not far away. It's a good technique as well. He just needed to arch his back over the ball there. Might have nestled in the top corner of the net. Now the visitors looking to build some more pressure that he had in the first half. The free kick floated in towards Dermond. And now he's going to be—he's gone down in the box. Is that what's the referee going to give here? And I think, judging by Derman's reaction, he's going to book him for diving. Disgusting, disgusting, Chris. It shouldn't be seen in any forms of the game. Never mind in the Northern League. Long throw into the box. It's towards the head of Jennings as always, and there's an incoming Matthew in there, and it's a goal for Mask. A fantastic looping header from the substitute Matthew Mann. And what a flick on by Jennings as well. I think he might have had something to do with the Alice band there. Found an extra 10% to get it over the keeper. What a beautiful header there from the young man. Chance 
from Josh McDonald now to, to really make up for that miss and run at the West along the defence. Plays the ball inside to Jennings, who's taken down on the edge of the box there. Was that inside or outside? What's the referee going to give here? Very cynical challenge that, Chris. Let's just see it from another angle. And he's, oh, that, he's made the most of that. I'm surprised the defender isn't calling them a few names there because that was disgusting. Free kick where the left back is going to go in. Oh, almost crept into that near post. Yeah, once again, good technique from these free kicks. They're just not getting them on target. Hopefully we'll see a, a net buster before the end of the game, Chris. Could only hope. Long ball forward from the captain Ian Dunn. Finds Hudson eventually again on this left-hand side. It's a powerful run from the left midfielder. Skips across one tackle. He plays the ball into the box and that's almost an own goal there. As Wheatley nearly puts the ball past his own keeper. But fortunately Robert Dunn was aware of what was happening. And now there's a chance for Matthew Mini midfield, and that is an awful challenge there. That's got to be a red, Chris. That's got to from be from Paul Stoneman, and he gonna be in, he's gonna be in trouble here, Paul Stoneman, because that is a horrendous challenge. He the screams from the poor lad there. He's definitely hurt. Let's see what the referee's gonna do. He's gonna book him, and Paul Stoneman is a lucky man. He's let him away with that one. Poor lad still on the ground receiving treatment. Could be a premature end to the game. <laughs> Now Stewart picks it up in midfield and plays the ball over the top looking for the run of McDonald. the keeper should clear that but he hasn't dealt with it properly and now McDonald's got an open goal to chip the keeper and he's found the back of the net and that surely has settled it what an awful mistake from the goalkeeper there what is he doing he's in no man's land he's left his goal open and the mass crowd are going ballistic behind the goal there yeah and Josh McDonald has missed that chance earlier in the game but now that surely settled the game and put Mask through to the next round of the cup. And there is the full-time whistle and Mask are through to the next round of the cup. I'd like to thank Rob Munro for his expert analysis there. That was a pretty raucous cup tie. Uh, Alex, we're going to start with a header from Manuel and Alice Bond. I mean, it was a good finish, but what do you think about Alice Bond? I'll be honest, Graham. I like the Alice Bond. I like the header even more. <laughs> Better than the Alice Bond? I mean, you seem to be quite supportive of the Ellis Band. On part, I am. A young Matt Hummels, I'd say. I think that's too too much of a playboy. I think the Northern League needs a bit of glamour, Graham. What, in between the pies and the wags? Absolutely. Scott Matthewman provided that glamour last night with the headband and the glorious header. You heard it here first, people. Uh, what about the ref? Did he have control of that game? I mean, what about cameraman? He either got, nearly got booked for time wasting. Well, well, I think the manager's got sent off. Exactly, yeah. I think he stamped his authority sending the manager off. He absolutely needed it. His behaviour was shocking on the sidelines. But then he missed uh, quite a clear dive. I think the dive, the only guy that needs to hang his head there is the goalkeeper. It was just embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. More embarrassing than uh, the second goal. Well, the mistake cost him, but I think you have to give full credit to Joe McDonald. Lovely finish. I thought the way he brought it down, lifted it over his head was excellent. EIEIO. Uh, that's it for tonight. In the next game, we've got Darlington IRA versus Thornaby, and uh, we'll see you there.